I'm here in Cleveland where behind me the stage is set for the NFL draft picks. Later tonight, you'll see as the first round of action gets underway. While we've been here in Cleveland, we also had the opportunity to speak to some fans about what they're expecting from their experience, what it's been like already, and what they can see down the road for Las Vegas when the draft comes to Sin City. It's great to get out, be with our people from not only from Houston, but also from around the nation. Just um, enjoying the atmosphere, enjoying the people. Me being a super fan, that means the world to me. To get to uh, hopefully see our first round pick, uh, really interested in seeing who's that going to be. But just being here, you know, with the rest of the Falcon fans is wonderful. First thing I think of in Las Vegas is the strip. Being on the strip and the lights and the atmosphere, how fantastic it's going to be for that uh, for the Las Vegas Raiders to uh, have the be host to the uh, NFL draft in 2022. We met so many people who have been on multiple trips. They've been to several different drafts and they just love it. The idea on a, on a draft and why people want to be able to go to it because everybody has a chance. Everybody's in a great mood. It's not one-on-one -on -one like you would on a football game. It's every 32 teams has a chance to better themselves and the fans are in a great atmosphere. And no better atmosphere than Vegas, right? We've seen it where in, in Dallas there was 50 fans in the inner circle and then it went to 20 fans in Nashville and then last year it had to be virtual and then this year I think it's 12 or so in there. Hopefully next year in Vegas everything's a little more open and maybe they can increase the number of fans again because the more fans you got, the more energy you got, right? And in Vegas and Sin City, 24-7, that's what you want. It's all yeah. fun.